Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am way late to the game. I know that when it comes to bring back my bars. I got mine a few days ago and I've been waiting to see if Presley was going to do a video with me, but it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and do it tonight. I've been watching a lot of videos and there are several bring back my bars that I did not get that I wish I would have. Um, probably at least three or four. So I have a party to close out this month. So I'm going to throw the ones I didn't get in on that party. Um, but we'll go over what I did get. Okay. So first in this order, I did get the pineapple rose, which is the scent of the month. Um, this is zesty Meyer lemon with a hint of blush rose. Okay. You know, yeah, I definitely get the rose. I don't think this is something that I'm going to need much of, but I will tell you, the, the lemon's coming out more. I've smelled this about three or four times since I've got it. And the lemon is coming out more. So I was born in 1974. So the early 80s, you know, I was, I was the doll girl. So I had like the strawberry shortcake dolls. And But do you guys remember rose petal dolls? I had several of those and they were... They were small dolls, kind of like Strawberry Shortcake, but the Strawberry Shortcake dolls were kind of chunkier, and these were taller, slender little dolls, and they were different colors and had different scents, but they all had a scent kind of of rose, I think, and that's what I remember. When I smell this, it takes me right back to my bedroom at the time and smelling and playing with those dolls. So I, you know, I, do I think this is something I'm going to need more of? Probably not, but I'll, I'll burn it or burn it. I'll melt it in my, uh, bedroom. So I did pick up two bars on this order that, um, are just in the catalog that I wanted to get. One is cider mill. I'm going to do a mix. I think someone said it was such a, look at my notes, uh, cider mill and cedar cider maybe together, but this is fresh apples, crushed pumpkin and simmering spices. I might be honest, since he has so many cider scents, <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, this smells nice. It smells like, it smells like an apple cider. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I picked up Cozy Cardigan. I think I had one of these and I need two for my open concept. Soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. And this is really pretty. Honestly? This is something that Brad would love. This is his type of scent right here. Um, so yeah, I think he's gonna, I think he's really gonna like that one. I did pick up the Valentine set. Uh, the first one is Pink Sunshine, which is Lush Pear, Plum, Cashmere, and Rose Milk. I think this is super pretty. I really do. Um... I kind of get the cashmere and plum. Maybe a tiny bit of rose milk. Not like not like a super flowery rose. Just that more body care rose, I guess. This is nice. I don't think that I will need more of that. Uh, Clementine Blossom is one of the Valentine's bars. Golden Citrus Pink Nectar, nectar and Sugar Blossom. This one is really... This one's really good. Um, yeah, get a little citrus. I don't know what the heck pink nectar is. It's very sweet, sugary. I like it. I don't think it's going to be a real powerhouse. It's a good bedroom scent. Now, this one is my favorite, Starburst Sky. This is my favorite out of the Valentines. Sweet apple, whipped vanilla, coconut clouds, and amber blossoms. I could see myself getting more of this. I'm going to melt this pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna throw it in my club, which will um, ship in March. But yeah, this one, I mean, I really get the amber, but it's not a dark amber. It's sweetened up with that apple. Oh, it's just really good. Yeah, I really, really like Starburst Sky. Okay, so for the Bring Back My Bars, I ended up getting fried ice cream, 
general consensus, almost everyone says this is heavy cinnamon. It says it's vanilla with a nutty touch, cinnamon and caramel. And I agree, this is nothing like I thought it was gonna be. I get cinnamon. I mean, I'm gonna melt this. I'll probably blend it with something. I honestly thought about taking this and blending it with um, Perk Me Up, the coffee. Uh, this is Guatemalan coffee with a touch of hazelnut. Um, this smells like a good coffee. It smells like a just a nice cozy coffee. I don't get any skunkiness from this. But I thought about taking the two and maybe mixing them together because I need two bars in my open concept. And actually on the weekends, I like doing coffee all through my upstairs. Um, I thought maybe that would be good together because this is a lot of cinnamon. I don't get much else, unfortunately. I was really hoping for a... I might get a little caramel. I do get some caramel maybe, but I really wanted more of the, the nuttiness in this we'll see vanilla cream this is getting a lot of good reviews french vanilla and coconut milk um to me on cold it's pretty light i will say on the bottom it's almost kind of gives me a like a sweetened condensed milk kind of kind of vibe. I can smell it a little more on the bottom, but it is light. But there have been some really good warm reviews on this already. So, you know, I'm keeping an open mind. I'm looking forward to melting that. Um, I grabbed two of Crumb Top. Crumb Top is one I was excited for. Oats, butter, and brown sugar. I like this. I like this better than the fried ice cream. I definitely get that butter and brown sugar. So I'm looking forward to melting this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. I, I can't put, I have two, but I really don't think that this will be strong enough for my open concept. So what I thought about doing with the crumb top is mixing it with this cranberry muffin. Cranberry muffin has gotten some good reviews but what I hear, I don't have the notes in that one, is that a lot of people get the cranberry, but they don't so much get the bakery aspect from this. And I can see why people say that. I, I agree with that. Now, I don't know if the, the bakery will come out on warm, but I get a really nice cranberry. I love the cranberry in this. I, I like cranberry, though. Um, cranberries, buttery brown sugar batter, walnuts, and toffee. I definitely would like to get more of that nuttiness and that toffee. And, and the more I smell it on the bottom, I think I do get a little bit of that. But I thought about going ahead and taking one of these and mixing with the um, crumb top to see if that'll give it that bakery. Um, and then I'll put a third one in my order that I'm going to uh, close or my party I'm going to close and I'll just do two bars in my open concept of just the cranberry muffin to see how I think it fares by itself but this is a lovely cranberry I mean I am a cranberry fan but I think it's a really really good one so um I grabbed two of the coconut cream pie and this is pumpkin puree nutmeg maple sugar and coconut shavings I'm not the hugest pumpkin fan I've found, or at least not this season I wasn't. I was a little pumpkined out early. That could all change next year. I mean, if anyone would tell me, would have told me last year at this time that I would be in the bakery like I am, I would have said they're crazy. Um, yeah, you know, I don't mind this. I get a little bit of the maple a uh, little bit of the nutmeg, pumpkin. I don't know about coconut shavings, but but yeah, I'm excited to um, melt this. I don't know if I've seen any warm reviews on this one yet. Um, okay, I grabbed two autumn stroll. Now this one, this one's thrown me for a loop a little bit. I wasn't expecting this. Peppery cinnamon. Dusky plums, warm wood, incense, 
spicy fragrance. Yeah, I was not expecting this at all, guys. The, these, I think, are all new to me, too. I, I don't know if any of y'all have had these before, but I don't think I've had any of these in the past. This, but I mean, I get the cinnamon, maybe the incense, but I definitely get a sophisticated man's cologne. Not like something my teenage boy would wear. He's shit. He's 20. Oh, gosh. I don't have a teenage boy anymore, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Not anything my 20-year-old would wear. More like um, a 60-year-old cologne. That's kind of what I get in this. I really wasn't expecting that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. But I got two to do my whole open concept. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, I grabbed two in Autumn Blaze Maple. I'm opening the wrong one. Uh, crisp Apples, Pumpkins, Maple Syrup, Cinnamon, and Oak. This I love. I really, really like this. I like maple and wax. Um, a lot of cinnamon. Doesn't Scentsy do cinnamon? Holy smokes, they put cinnamon in about everything, guys. Um, I like this. It's It's got a lot of cinnamon. And the apples, I don't know if I get pumpkin. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to warm this. I got two to do my open concept, so we'll see how it fares. Um, man, since he does the cinnamon, they put, they put cinnamon in about everything. Okay, I grabbed two rum raisin cookies. Fresh baked cookie, rum, raisin, and clove. So no cinnamon, but some clove. Um, I like this on cold a lot. Um, definitely get the cookie, and the clove, and then a sweetness that I think is the rum and raisin. Yeah. So it's another one that, you know, I'm cold. I do like this one. We'll just have to see how it warms. Okay, this is the shocker to me. I got one Woodland Suede. I adore this. Red Oak, Smoky Cedar, Suede Musk, and is it Bright Winter Linen maybe? I tried to um, abbreviate and can't remember what I abbreviated. Yeah, this is super good, I think. That lemon, I think it's that winter lemon that really makes a shine. It's, um, I don't think it's too smoky. I really don't know what red oak smells like. I don't really get a smoky note. I think I get a lemony suede musk. I like this a lot. I am really excited about that one. And shocked I like that one so much. Uh, one Mediterranean Spa. This had a weird, um, just said like a smooth, fresh, breezy scent. Yeah, and this does. It smells like like a, a spa. Yeah, or a, um, I kind of get the trop, not, okay, and when I say the, I don't mean the tropics. It's not like a coconut beachy, but almost like a, um, it gives me vibes of like a, a resort, like the, maybe something they're piping through for their actual resort scent a little bit. When we're in Mexico or Punacan and we're walking through the shops and the, the lobbies and things, I kind of get that vibe. This is really pretty. So I'm excited to see how that performs. Coconut Palm, and I'm with everybody on this. Um, tropical coconut, musky patchouli, subtle greens. Yeah, I, I don't get what I thought it was. I don't get patchouli. I, I haven't heard anyone say they get patchouli. I get coconut. Sometimes I feel like I get a fresh coconut. And then there are other times I get beachy coconut. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, honestly. Anybody have any ideas to mix this one? Because I know even two bars, I it's not going to do anything for my open concept. Yeah, is there anything I can mix this with? What about a salty Sierra? I don't know. Maybe 
a salty sear. Yeah, this isn't, um, I kind of wish I got more patchouli. I'm a patchouli fan. So, hazelnut latte. I was super excited about this one. Steamed milk, toasted hazelnuts, espresso, vanilla, and a little cinnamon. A little. I like this one. I get the toasted hazelnut. It's light, little coffee. If there's cinnamon, I, I'm, I mean, it's, it's a very subtle cinnamon. Yeah, I think this, I, I don't get a lot of coffee. I'm, it's almost like a hazelnut buttercream. That's kind of what I get. I mean, there might be a little coffee in there, but I think this might be a good bakery just to mix with things maybe. I don't know, but yeah, I am happy to have that. Okay, apple press. Now, I have never had Johnny Appleseed. I may have a bar in there. I've never melted it. So remember that when I talk here. I really like this. It's crunchy apples, juicy pears, and a hint of the last fall roses. I think this is super, super nice. And um, I have, like I said, I have not dabbled in Scentsy Apples. So the Johnny Appleseed, I think I've got a peeling apple in there, but I've never melted it. So this is really pretty. I don't know. I don't know if it's something, but I want my whole open concept to smell just like this. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, it's definitely, I don't get a, I don't get like a real floral, floral rose. I, I get just a nice apple. And I think the pears really makes the apple even more like fresh. Yeah, I think I get pear. Yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. I really don't have anything to compare it to though. And then the last one that I picked up is Quiver. Vanilla flower, sandalwood, and tuberose. Um, I'm with everybody who says this smells like a sophisticated or older woman perfume scent. Yeah, and that's exactly what I think this smells like. I love sandalwood, so I'm thinking the tuberose maybe takes over in this. I don't know a lot about tuberose, but I'm thinking that's what it is making this so uh, sophisticated and mature. That's kind of what I get in this one. So. so those are what I picked up. I'm definitely going to add to my order. I want to get the, is it, okay, the green one, floral shop or flower house or flower, the one that smells like you walk right into um, a florist. I want to get that flower shop. I think that's what it's called. I'm get, definitely going to get that. I'm thinking about getting flirtatious, um, the spiced berries. What else didn't I get that I know that I wanted to throw in there? Um, the I think the other lime one, I think I might grab. So yeah, there were, there were four or five that I didn't get in this order that I've decided after watching some other people review. Flirtatious, did I say that one? I might grab that one. I think I'm gonna pick up, so. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. That is everything I have for you. Looking forward to everyone's videos tomorrow. I'm hoping there's a lot of empties and, and melting baskets and things like that. So everyone have a great Saturday night. Bye.